When you look at the concepts of an IGP and an EGP, you need to understand the idea of an autonomous system. You'll often see this written as an AS. And just as the name implies, an autonomous system is one that is independent. We generally think of an autonomous system as a group of devices that are under our control. So if we have some routers or some IP routes that we are managing, we're considering all of those routes as one single autonomous system. If you're in a network for an organization, then you probably have something like an autonomous system of all of your networks and you'll consider that your single AS. If you look at the RFC 1930, there's a section three for definitions, and I'm going to read this. An autonomous system is a connected group of one or more IP prefixes run by one or more network operators, which has a single and clearly defined routing policy. And that makes sense. If you're running the network for a particular organization, you will consider all of the networks that are under your control as a single autonomous system. One important point about this is that we're going to talk about interior gateway protocols and exterior gateway protocols, and they directly tie back to this concept of autonomous systems. IGP stands for an interior gateway protocol, and it's used when you have a single autonomous system and you need to have some way to route between all of these different IP networks that you have in your environment. This is for your single AS. If you're trying to communicate from one autonomous system to another, we're going to use something called an exterior gateway protocol. But let's first look at an IGP. An example of an interior gateway protocol might be something like OSPF or ISIS. You might also see RIP or RIP version 2 used whenever you have a single autonomous system and you would like to have dynamic routing between all of those routes. And if you're in a Cisco environment, you have the option of using the proprietary protocol of EIGRP to be able to have all of the routes and your routers update themselves automatically. These are gateway protocols or router protocols that you'll use all the time. And if you're managing a set of routers in your autonomous system, then you will most certainly be using one of these dynamic methods to be able to update the routes in all of your routers. Well, if we're using an interior gateway protocol to route in our own autonomous system, then an exterior gateway protocol is used to route information between autonomous systems. And we would usually have something very common like BGP, which is something you'll find a lot of different organizations using whenever you need to connect their autonomous system to another. BGP is almost always the standard when you're communicating out on the internet. You need some of these dynamic routing capabilities, so you see it used in many many, many different locations. To lay this out in a picture, you can start looking at autonomous systems as networks that are under the controls of different companies. And here I have company A, company B, company C, and company D. Each one of these companies is using an, a different interior gateway protocol to manage the routes on their routers. Company A might be using RIP, company B is using OSPF, company C is using EIGRP, and company D is using RIP version two. But all of these different companies need to communicate to each other, so what they'll use is a a common exterior gateway protocol like BGP so that all of those routers can communicate to each other and keep all of those routes updated. 